Hello everybody and welcome, this is the Apostate Prophet. Today I want to talk about a Quran miracle. Since the Quran is claimed to be the direct word of Allah, it is also believed that the Quran is not only entirely accurate, without mistakes, but that it also contains miraculous verses. Many Muslims in recent times have brought up certain miracles, such as the one that I want to talk about today, which concerns the preservation of the body of a pharaoh. The claim that is made is that the pharaoh who chased Moses and the Israelites, and who, like in the Bible, followed them through the split sea, was drowned in the water and his body was preserved until this day. Many Muslims claim that we found that pharaoh's body today and we have confirmed that he was indeed drowned. And they say this is miraculous because the Quran says in chapter 10 verse 92 that Allah said to that pharaoh, so today we will save your body, that you may be to those who succeed you a sign. And indeed, many among the people of our signs are heedless. According to their interpretation, this Quran verse means that Allah will preserve the Pharaoh's body for generations to see. And since we recently found the body of the Pharaoh and we confirmed that he was indeed drowned, this Quran verse is hereby confirmed as a miracle. Unfortunately, there are a lot of problems with this claim. First off, the understanding that this Quran verse says that the Pharaoh would be preserved for generations or until the Day of Judgment is a very new interpretation. The classical Islamic scholars in their understanding and interpretation of the Quran did not understand anything like that from this Quran verse. What they understood and confirmed among each other was that the Pharaoh would be drowned by Allah in the water and then his body would be brought to the shore so that everyone can see that he was killed. And this is a sign from Allah for the Israelites and for the Egyptians that the Pharaoh, who considers himself divine, was indeed punished by Allah. But even if we accept the far-fetched modern interpretation and say this Quran verse actually points at a at an eternal preservation of the Pharaoh's body. Unfortunately, that is still not remotely good enough because there are more problems. First off, we have no idea who this Pharaoh would be. He is simply referred to as Pharaoh, as if that was his name or his unique title. It's not the Pharaoh, it's just Pharaoh. There are many speculations about who this pharaoh could be. Some scholars think it was Ramses II, but in the end those are simply speculations. Moreover, historians cannot confirm that these events of the exodus from Egypt ever took place. So therefore, it is impossible for historians to find out who exactly the pharaoh in the Quran or the Bible is. The narrative already breaks down there. According to the secular, objective, historical perspective, there is no confirmation, no evidence that the exodus ever took place and that the events described here ever happened. They are merely accepted as an account that may be fictional or real. The Egyptians have no record, there are no archaeological records, there is nothing. The Muslims who claim that this is a miracle claim that it was either Ramses II, or that it was the pharaoh Merneptah who came after Ramses II. Now they are right about one thing. We do have the bodies of these two pharaohs. But that's not necessarily special because we have the bodies of over 20 different rulers or pharaohs. Because the Egyptians would mummify them. So the preservation of a specific mummy is not really miraculous. Muslims who appeal to a miracle further claim that it is confirmed that the pharaoh was drowned, that scientists came to this conclusion, that there is proof that the body we have died in a drowning. Unfortunately, that's completely false. What is true is that during the unraveling of a mummy of Merneptah, there was salt found. But there is no indication that he was therefore drowned. No, on the contrary, there is no such conclusion that any of these two pharaohs drowned. What the experts did find is that Merneptah died as a very old man and that he suffered from arthritis and a heart disease, which may have caused his death. 
When it comes to Ramesses II, it is unclear how he died. Experts found that he also had arthritis, that he had poor blood circulation, that he was a hunchback toward the end of his life, and that a major hole was detected in his jawbone, which indicates that he had a serious abscess from which he may have died. So he too died of natural causes, of diseases. And with that, the entire miracle claim crumbles. This Quran verse never claims that the Pharaoh's body will be preserved for all to see for generations or until the day of judgment. We have no idea who this Pharaoh would be. We have no idea whether these events actually took place. You have to prove that in order to then conclude that this was that specific Pharaoh. One of those Pharaohs clearly died from diseases as an old man and the other was also plagued by diseases from which he naturally died as it seems. And the conclusion here is very clear. The miracle claim about the preservation of a pharaoh and his body is completely false. And I know people will not take my advice, but I want to tell Muslims who appeal to such a miracle narrative that they are insulting their own book when they make such far-fetched wild reinterpretations and try to validate this book by appealing to vague miracle claims based on misinformation. Please stop. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share this video to combat misinformation. If you want to support what I am doing and my quest for truth, please consider supporting this channel on Patreon or on apostateprofit.com slash donate so that I can create more content and put the truth out there. Thank you so much. Have a great day and stay away from Islam.